is up guys it's skill up here with another division video it is the very last hour of the pts there's literally like 45 minutes to go as i am recording this which means that we can definitely expect patch 1.4 very soon my guess is probably sometime next week in that tuesday maintenance window i would be super stunned if it did not come through then but the minute we have an actual release date i will of course let you guys know what i wanted to do with this last little bit of time left though is show you guys just how lucrative high value target missions have become and why you should definitely make them a big priority every week. So let's take a step back to patch 1.3. In patch 1.3, high value target missions kind of sucked. You had to grind some really boring mobs in order to get the target intel. Those mobs were guaranteed to drop nothing interesting for you at all. You needed a fair amount of intel to do it. And when you did finally do it, the loot rewards were A, pretty stingy and B, were almost always Lone Star, Lone Star, Lone Star. We all got way too much Lone Star owing to high value target missions in patch 1.3 and thankfully pretty much everything I have just listed has changed. So first up let's talk about grinding for your target intel. Well obviously since everything is now max level across the map as you grind for target intel, there is a good chance that you are going to get drops that are going to be useful to you. As I was doing this myself today, I got quite a few drops. All of them, of course, were 229, and some of them weren't bad at all. And that was from just grinding trash mobs in the open world while I was trying to collect my target intel. So that's already a really big tick. As for how much target intel you need, it has been altered. You do need the same amount of target intel, but you get a lot more target target intel per critical search and destroy mission that you complete. So it becomes a hell of a lot easier for you to get what you need. Next up are the missions themselves. So obviously there is a mix of daily and weekly high value target missions. And the weekly ones in the past were typically scaled for groups. They were really difficult to do without them. They've changed that now and high value target weekly missions, even the highest risk ones are very doable solo as you're seeing here in this video. It's not easy by any stretch, but I've got a fairly basic Lone Star base build here, very unoptimized. It's absolutely doing the trick. So just play smart, play safe, have yourself revive up, and you'll absolutely be able to take down those weekly high risk, high value target missions solo. The rewards from the missions are fairly lucrative. You get two guaranteed gear set items every weekly high value target mission you finished, but that's just the mission reward. And from the bosses themselves, you actually have a guaranteed chance to get at least one gear set item. I got two from one of mine, which is really nice. So that's the mission and boss rewards. But don't forget to be able to get the target intel that you were running. You also got tons of loot from that as well while you were grinding. So all in all, I spent around 30 minutes grinding target intel plus doing one weekly high value target mission. And I walked away with a grand total of 26 items of which eight of those were gear set items. That's not too bad at all. The last thing that I'll say is that if you do this as a group, it is even more efficient than I have just detailed. Essentially, if all four of you are collecting target intel at once, you can essentially do the four weekly high value target missions one after the other, and you won't need to grind for additional target intel. It becomes an extremely lucrative way to get loot, and I would absolutely recommend grouping up when you do this, not necessarily because it makes it easier just because it makes it so damn fast and so damn lucrative and of course I did forget to mention the whole Lone Star thing is a bit of a thing of the past loot waiting on the high value target missions has been removed which means you can get any gear set from those missions at all and you'll see here that quite a selection of them have dropped for me so you'll get a mix of everything guys you still might get some of that Lone Star gear but you've got just as much chance of getting a completely different gear set altogether. And that's it guys, that's high value target missions in patch 1.4. I really strongly recommend doing them. They are quite possibly the most loot efficient activity in the game. That 
that is the weekly target missions. So I would very strongly recommend doing it. Plus, it's actually pretty good fun. You get out in the open world, you cruise around a bit, you grind some stuff, you get some target intel, you take down some bosses, boom, collect some juicy loot and you're done. Nothing wrong with that. Can't complain too much. I certainly really enjoy it and I hope you guys do too. Guys, if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe for end-to-end -end division coverage. Patch 1.4 is coming soon. I've got plenty of videos planned, including the best weapon in patch 1.4, my personal pick on the gear sets of choice and a whole bunch of other stuff. So do stick around for that. For now, guys, thanks very much for watching. Take good care and I'll see you in patch 1.4. Bye-bye.